This week on Men's Health, we have a special guest, and not just Cousin Jeff. He's here. Thank you for being here, Jeff. No doubt. Appreciate yes. you. But who do we have, Ray? We have Mr. Sean K. Ellis. And where is he from, Jeff? Uh, he is from Trial 4, which is a uh, documentary on Netflix. If you guys haven't seen it, you, I suggest and recommend that you do. It's, it's one of the top-rated docuseries that was out last year, and it's still on there, and it's, uh, it's made some waves. So we actually had to have him on the show. Had to do. So anyway, this dude is a advocate for people that are wrongfully convicted. Yeah, because he was wrong, wrongfully convicted. Uh, he spent twenty over over twenty one years in prison for a crime that he did not commit. And we're talking about betrayal, mistrust, injust by the justice system. Uh, the list goes on. But we learned from this guy. You're, you're not going to believe how amazingly at peace he is. Oh yeah. And just what a, a, a given person he is. And he gave us his time. And you have so much to learn from this guy. I'm going to learn how to handle my anger issues. Yeah. Uh, when the kids don't do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Since we have a guest, a special guest, Cousin Jeff. Yo, Jeff, just tell the people to sit back and enjoy the show. Tune in. Relax. Take this in because Mr. Ellis, he's got a story to tell. And in addition to his story, he's an amazing individual. Um, he basically is the definition of just perseverance um, and not allowing a bad situation to change who you are as a person. So you know what? he It's an amazing story. With that said, enjoy the show. Today we have Sean Ellis, and Sean Ellis is from Trial 4. Sean, would you do us a favor and introduce yourself to the people that may have not watched the uh, documentary and let them know who you are? They better watch it, though. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> definitely, definitely watch Trial 4. It's airing on, on Netflix. Um, my, my name is Sean K. Ellis. And I was wrongfully convicted of murder at 19. Now I'm facing my fourth trial and the possibility of going back to prison for life. The death of a police officer. It's not handled like other homicides, and this one wasn't. The sense we got was Mulligan's past had caught up with him. And when a black kid got arrested, it's like, where'd that come from? Here we go again. In my opinion, Sean Ellis executed John Mulligan. I was scared. I was confused. My son was in jail for murder. Yo, give us the keys. The first words out of Sean's mouth is, I was there that night. Across from that bridge, my cousin, I came out and went home. Down on my knees. Why would somebody put themselves in the middle of a homicide if they were involved? Yeah. The cops were just looking for someone to pin this murder on. Ellis was convicted by the work of corrupt police detectives. The corruption within the Boston Police Department is what drove this investigation. There's nothing that connects Sean to this crime. The Attorney General's office knows about it. The U.S. Attorney's office knows about it. There's no conspiracy. Sean Ellis did it. I mean, it's as simple as that. He did it. There is a cultural cover-up that has affected the Boston Police Department and police departments everywhere across the country. We just want a taste of freedom. It's a black man, white police officer. Of course it's race. Every day that, that someone stays locked up for a crime he didn't commit is a day that you shouldn't be able to sleep as a prosecutor. For my fourth trial, I want to be vindicated. I want to be exonerated. I definitely want the world to know that, that I'm innocent. I'd, I'd just like to commend you. Um, you know, the, the takeaway from watching that series was, yeah, and I'm pretty sure you've experienced a variety of things uh, since your ordeal, but the takeaway from it was your poise, okay? Uh, it, th in watching it, I, I, I felt angry, I, I felt frustrated, and it seemed like uh, every situation in which you 
which you whether you were speaking to the attorney or friends or just the Netflix crew, your, your demeanor and your poise, it, it almost seemed at a place of peace. And I have to commend you for that because I don't know if I'm built to to after experiencing something like that to maintain you know that level of poise to, to maintain that level of insight to still come out um and 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 be so open and and willing to share and willing to talk to people so you know uh, definitely man uh it was just it was really impressive i think you're an amazing individual and again like you know, like Red said, thank you so much for meeting with us. Uh, this is absolutely a pleasure. Thank Picking you. backing off what uh, Jeff just said about your patience, uh, I was reminded by that when you when you when you asked for that lawyer. Uh, her name is uh, I couldn't get it right. Is is it Panaccio? Uh, Rosemary Scapiccio. Capiccio, yes, Capiccio. Put when, a when put she, a respect on that yes, name. Yes. Right, right, right. Rose no doubt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, she was like you no. said. She was right to the point. She's like a bulldog. Like she's she was rough and tough, and she wasn't. She had no fear. But what I love about it is when she said that when she heard your story and you wrote to her and pick it back enough. What Jeff said, she said she didn't have time for you, and 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 you said, I'll wait. Mm, yeah, I mean, like it. It was just like. No, I needed, you know, I would have been like, I need, I need you to help me right now. But you said, <laughs> I'll wait. It was, I mean, it was amazing that you said that. I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's. <laughs> My reality mm-hmm. is what you just said. Like, I needed a lawyer right in that moment. But there was something inside of me that knew that she was she was the one that I needed. So it's like the idea of me not waiting didn't exist. It's like, I, you know, that's what I want. Then I got to wait for it. Right. Right. I was going to ask you uh, one of the questions, because I know your, your model now is, uh, which is beautiful, uh, wounded, but not broken. Where did that phrase come from and originate from? And, and who was the message for? So, um, in terms of like origination, like I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. Mm-hmm. Um, but where it came from, um, in my mind, it's just like, well, one night, um, I was, I was coming up on my anniversary, mm-hmm. um, for, for being home. Mm. Um, no, as a matter of fact, I think it was the anniversary for when the case got dismissed when the Commonwealth threw, threw the case out. Okay. Um, and, and I was, I was, I was talking to my fiance at the time and, and, uh, she asked me like, what is like, how would, like, how is it that I was feeling in that, like in, in that moment at that time? Um, and, 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 and I, sh- I just shared that, you know, I was wounded you know, I was wounded by all that I went through, um, but that I wasn't broken by it. Um, and 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 uh, she happened to, you know, get a T-shirt made celebrating my my, my anniversary, wow. and it was on a T-shirt. Wow, no, that's, that's beautiful because it's universal. I mean, it can, it can apply to anyone. That's why I asked you, like, who is it meant for? It's just not for you. It's for anyone that has gone through some well either wrongful conviction or anything been wrong period, but either by an abusive relationship. Absolutely. So it's very, I love it. Love the um, message. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, it's, and that's the beauty um, in that is, it's like, it isn't just for people who have been wrong, wrongfully convicted. Um, It's, 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 it's for young children who, who who are fatherless or, or who are motherless, gotcha. um, or or who's being raised by a single parent that has come up um, through the like through the system or or, or through a hardship. It, it's for those who have been uh, in a department of, of of children and families or or, or DSS, and it, it's it's for the battered women and the battered men. Wow, you know it, it, it's it, it's for homicide survivors rape survivors like yeah. it's for those who have like you know gone through something yeah. um that that 
is intended on breaking on breaking who they are as a person that is intent on on breaking their spirit, yeah. but they fight through and persevere through and come out of it not broken. Um, mm-hmm. that like that's that's who that's for. Mm-hmm. That's who's rep- all represented in yeah. that because right. it's that type of spirit that that is the kindred spirit that runs through us through us all and connects us all. Absolutely, I was gonna say yeah, it definitely connects us all and, and brings us together. So yeah, um, it's like uh, having a uh, 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 I was to say a brethren or, or a society or community that is, has been hurt by, by the world and, or, you know, by circumstances, but yet, um, you're not alone. So, I mean, it speaks volumes. Like I said, it, it defines your situation to a T and I, I, I love it. You know, I was, I was wounded, but not broken by my mom, but that's a different story. <laughs> right. I mean, no, my, yeah. mom, my mom's great. She just was to whip me. That's <laughs> she's great. She just used to beat the hell out of me. <laughs> she actually listened. She actually watched your thing because I told her. I was like, "Look, I have this this guy. He's coming on our show. Um, you got to watch it. I wanted to get. It was so much pressure. You know, I, I we reached out to you, but it was so much pressure because I wanted you. You were coming on the show, and I was like, I want this to be right. I want to make sure we do him right as far as you know, how the way we present ourselves. So I was like, man, I need mom. I need questions, whatever. So she like binge watched it. Uh, cause her Netflix was acting up, uh, <laughs> Netflix, you know, you got to tell people to unplug their fire stick and put it back in. But anyway, it was acting up. It was not playing your thing. And she was like, Oh my gosh, it's, you know, they're doing something. They're not playing the trial for everything else was playing. I said, mom, I understand. She was like, no, 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 that, that Charvin, that Derek Charvin trial is going on right now. So it's, it's got something to do with it. I was like, mom, unplug it. Put it back in so it works. She stayed up all night watching it and she was like, Tell that boy I was mad, I was angry, I was crying, and I was happy, but I was like, Oh, I can kill I can kill those men. But um she was just saying, Tell her tell him I I I'm praying for him and I'm I'm happy for him. And I, I pray to God that he gets all the you know, it can't make up for anything, but all the money in the world that basically bankrupts that that uh, that city. It's a range of emotions. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Ellis, have you watched the uh, documentary lately, or or better yet, let me let me swing that back. Like, what were your thoughts uh, at the completed product? Um, it's 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 a accurate representation. Okay. Um, you know, but um, you know, who knows? I was angry. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was I was so angry for yeah. you. I, I, uh, I, I just, man, I, you know, because you're, you're, you're raised with the belief that if you are honest and upfront, and especially if you've got nothing to hide, you should be good. Right. Yeah. Like that's, that's, right. that's like a, 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 a basic understanding. Um, and to see how that whole situation just went so left. Yeah. And then when you hear, uh, the things going on behind the scenes that help to push it in that direction, that just adds to the frustration level. Um, but you know what? Even in that story, there were a lot of things that uh, I found just really uh, interesting. And I think, uh, and it's to borrow a term that I think you use, like there, there seemed to be divine intervention, you know, in, in, at several points within your story, um, one of which is Godma. I believe is that is that uh, what, like can you can you tell us about uh, about that situation and just like you know the 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 dynamic and the relationship you have with her? So uh, I was I was I was incarcerated um, at at um, what was at the time the maximum security prison of the state, and um, you know she just happened to. Uh, you know, write me a letter and just asked, you know, if if I remembered um, her and her family and 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 who they were, and mm-hmm. of course I, I remembered them because that was, you know, a particular period of time in my life, and so, yeah. um, you know, she ended up coming to visit me, um, her and her and um her son who, you know, coming up was like a best friend, and um, she just took an interest. Um and 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 you didn't know the rest is history. Yeah, that's that that was definitely love there. I, I tell you this right here, what was crazy to me was when you had the court case to get a new trial, 
and the judge has said uh, based on us on the facts that um you know she thought you you deserved a fair a new trial, but she said um uh, against her better wishes or something like that. She says you know I know there were honorable and true and uh honest cops. I am still trying to figure out who who she was talking about. Mm. When she said there were there were cops who were who actually were honest and and uh, 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 good cops, I'm, I was watching the, the documentary. I'm looking at every episode. I'm like, who is she talking about? Who were the honest cops? I didn't see any of them because they were all seemed dirty. Well, that's her just trying to save good face, saying that they're honest cops, regardless. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not just trying to say we had a couple of bad apples. So it was her saying that to protect the judicial system, right? Well, if that makes sense, that's what I got from it. Yeah. So so. Um, you know, when you deal with the local politics of it all, it's, 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 I don't think there's any judge in the world that would want to put shame, um, on an entire police department. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I think that's, that's what she was, um, attempting to represent Mm -hmm. and, and, and expressing that. Yep. However, a recent case, um, there was a individual, Patrick Rose, um, that was involved in the police, that, that was on the police department um, around the time of all of this. Um, and his name doesn't ring a bell in regards to my case itself, but what we're speaking about is the culture that existed within the Boston Police Department and the corruption that was allowed to exist. But this individual, Patrick Rose, um, you you know, locally it came out that he was recently, um, it was at least he's alleged to have um, committed sexual assaults on some uh, children. Um, And and that's like, that's, that's, that's all local news, but it was a, a, a uh, police officer who rose in the ranks of the police union. And, and so when you hear people speaking about the culture um, of the police at that time, that's, this is the type of stuff um, that we're talking about. Um, And, 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 and so, you know, trial, trial four just represented some, some of uh, what, uh, you know, (laughs) <laughs> the Boston police um, of that time was, you know, doing. I mean, you were there. You 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 live in the neighborhood. You came up. You were an ex- you, you experienced the uh, the the not so good side of that interaction. I uh, do you think that has changed uh, your trust in the system or trust in people overall? Absolutely, um, is 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 definitely changed. Um, my trust in the system and like mind you like it, it wasn't it, it wasn't a thing where um uh you know i just went to the police station um you, you know they 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 were asking me questions about the homicide of my two cousins mm-hmm. um and 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 it was during that that but basically just pounce on me with with the allegations of 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 of, of killing detective mulligan and 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 so it, it wasn't like well let me just go and tell him that i was that what it wasn't that right. that, that sort of thing but it's it, you know and as much as i was there and he pounce it's like yeah i was there buying diapers like what's the problem right. that's not a crime you mm-hmm. know what i mean yeah um but getting to your question, what was it? No, I think you asked. I was kind of just curious about, like, just your trust. trust. You know, like, does does I have to believe something like that? Just it leaves a mark, right? And and as much as you want to, you know, be the 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 person you were after something like that, I, I have to believe maybe it impacts your trust level, whether it's with everyday people, but especially with law enforcement. Uh, so I was just wondering. Yeah, it's is is. Is both. Mm. It's 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 the system as a whole, but then it's everyday people as well. Okay, mm. Mr. Ellis, when you was in prison, what was your rock? What kept you? What kept you sane when you knew, day in and day out, you're innocent. You don't. You're not supposed to be here. Like what kept you going? What kept me going is the fact that I was innocent, and I had loved ones that I was fighting to 
get back home to, you know, one of my biggest fears was, you know, my mother dying um, mm. while, while I was incarcerated. Yeah. And so, you know, me being innocent, you know, the the reality that if I didn't get out of there, that my mother was going to die while I was in there, um, you know, just that, like that. And, and then throughout, throughout this process, like, you know, I developed a relationship um you know with God. Okay. Um and, and, and I'm not one of those people who are uh shameful um to ag- to acknowledge to God. Okay. Um right. and, and, and so I I I study things as far as Christianity, uh Jehovah like Je- Jehovah Witness, like Buddhism. Um I dealt with the nation of gods on earth. I dealt with the uh nation of Islam just you know it's it's all all in attempts to establish that you know oneness, you know, to come into a, a realization, and so yeah. um, that that was very um, monumental in, 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 in helping me to get through the process. Mm. Do you go back to prison and to help other people? As far as do you have like a, a program where you actually go back and talk to inmates? Nah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, hey, he was like, hell I, no. I, I, <laughs> I was like, yo, bro. Respect. He's like, I've been. He's like, I was already there. He's like, I was already there helping them out. Um, yeah, I, I get calls from um people that 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 um I establish you know relationships in there mm-hmm. with um yeah you know some of whom I believe are innocent. Um, but but in terms of me going back in there, um, nah, not I, a, I don't blame I, you, not, not one not at bit. all. Zero judgment here, brother. <laughs> I, I was going to say, uh, how many people that you've come across in prison that had a similar story to you? Are there? Uh, how, what's the percentage you would say? Uh, p- percentage wise, I would have to create that that like skill. Okay. Um, but 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 you, you know, there's there's one is too many. Mm. Agreed. Exactly. You know, I was I was. I exactly. was too many. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and the fact that I'm not the only one um, and the fact that, you know, while I was in there, I got my paralegal certificate mm-hmm. and, 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 and I had people come to me to ask me for help um, on a legal matter. And, 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 and by reading, reading their cases, like that's how and why I can take the position where, you know, I can honestly say that I'm not the only one. Like mm-hmm. I've, I've, I've seen other people's cases. Gotcha. With, with, with things like this have uh, happened. Well, maybe, how, not, uh-huh. maybe not to the scale. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but 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 you know, there is there is police office officers in the city mm-hmm. um that existed at that time that is well known um they were dirty. Mm, right. Gotcha. And it's well known that they was lying under oath and and and, and, and playing evidence. And things, and so um, you, you know, locally we're striving to call for a investigation, a a, a investigation into the police department, uh, particularly of that time. Wow, mm. I was to say because you said you got your um, yeah, you got your uh, paralegal um, license, right? And in, in, while incarcerated, as far as the a oh, certificate, yeah. as far as uh, as far as uh, reform. What would you say to the reform programs in there? Were, were, were they helpful or were there, were there barely any oh, prison reform after that phase? <laughs> I guess not. I guess <laughs> not. You just, you just shut him down right I, there? I guess, I guess not. No, but I want to hear the people that don't know, I want people to know that hey, when you go to prison, they're, they're like, I, I want people to know that don't know that have this misconception about prison. Like, oh, you go to prison, you're going to come up, reform, like you get the help they need. I, wanna, I just want people that don't know whether there is help or there's no help. No, like, yeah. what a, it's about a couple of things, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and the and the biggest thing of that couple is that um, if you want to work on you, you want to work on you. Gotcha. Um, and, and, and whether it's you're reading self help books, whether it's you know your religion, your reading religious books, um, mm-hmm. whether it's it, it, it's 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 you you studying whatever, like you got to work on you. Gotcha. That's first and foremost, right? But then outside of that, um, 
what you get from the prison itself in terms of in in in, in, in terms of rehabilitation mm-hmm. um is nothing. Yeah. You know, did did uh they have programs there, but the programs is really all about getting the money, not really about um 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 helping like helping the people. Gotcha. Okay. Now I know like state by state is different, like rep- reparations or uh you get money you can uh go to court to get money from people who were wrongfully convicted. It's different state by state. What was the was there an amount you got from uh, from uh, the state you're from, you got to see about my finances, man. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not personal, but I don't know. But he's a narc. Don't answer. Give him the business. Give him the business. Yo, he's a narc. Hold on. He's a narc. Hold on. Yo, bear, bear with me. Hold on. Hold on. This goes to what Reggie was saying as far. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. Check the seat. This dude, this dude is wired, bro. That ain't my mic. But see, my question kind of goes to what Reggie as far as you know. Reform as far as is that, is that something you would want to work on as far as like other people who are un, who are, uh, who go to go to prison who are innocent needs to be changed as far as you know when they come out to nothing they don't have nothing you went in for twenty you know twenty some years they had nothing when they come out because they they were locked up so yeah no nah, you're absolutely right right and um you know when I came home I came home to absolutely nothing right mm-hmm. um but I was. I was still fighting my case when I came home. Mm-hmm. And when I say I came home to absolutely nothing, yeah, you, you know, there was people around me that, that that helped to provide and make sure that I was straight. But in terms in, in terms of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, yeah. you know, here it's the Commonwealth. In other places, it's the state. But um, here I came home to absolutely nothing. No, no housing, no, 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 no money, no, no, no mm-hmm. job, no no, nothing. Oh, man. All right. So, 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 but I also came home still fighting this case. Yeah. Mm. I came home on a $50,000 bill. Mm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so, you know, I want to lift up, you know, the uh, people that, 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 that helped me down during that process right. until I was able to make the transition and, and, and learn how to do a, a resume and apply for a job and so and, and, and go through that process. Mm. You know what I mean? But um, so that was one of the things that you touched on is the re the, the reentry phase, mm-hmm. um, particularly of the exoneree. Yeah. Right. Um, but then too, you're talking about the local comp- compensation law, and um, as it stands right now, I'm still fighting this case. Yep. Um. <clears throat> In December, um, my attorney and I filed a motion for a new trial on a firearm charges. And um, just a few weeks weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, our um, current dis- district attorney, uh, Ray- Ray Rachel Rollins, assented to our motion, meaning she agreed um, that justice was not done in the case. And so, uh, right now we're waiting to go in front of the judge and, 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 and see if he's going to grant a new trial or, or, or dismiss the charges. Is it, you can do either one, right? Yeah. So, so what's in front of him now is a motion for a new trial. Okay. The district attorney has said that once he grants that motion for new trial, that she is not going, go, going forward on a case that, that she's dismissing everything in the case, which mm. is the firearms. Mm, right. Okay. Gotcha. So, Mr. Ellis, you know, kind of circling back on that, uh, can you walk us through, right, you've, you've, uh, you've been released, you've got your freedom, but you've got this, this, uh, this, this trial pending kind of like looming over you, right? Like, can you walk us through like that feeling and kind of where you were at at that time? Because I know it's got to be a mixed bag, right? Like, you're happy to finally be out and be back with your loved ones. But then you still got this thing that just it just never seems to go away, even to, even though they've got all the proof in the world that there's wrongdoing. Right. So, like, like where were you at, you know, in during that process? Like, like, well, you speak to like your, your mental, emotional place, you know. <laughs> so, so, so my conditions of confinement changed. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, in terms of I, I wasn't I wasn't, you know, under under. Confinement. The harsh conditions that I once was, gotcha. mm-hmm. um, but 
as far as mentally and psychologically is, is, is I was, I was, as I remain, um, in the fight for my life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, 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 and so one of the things that reminded me, um, and, and, and prevented me from being complacent was I had a GPS on my ankle. Ah, uh, gotcha. So, so, so I seen that thing. I felt that thing every day, all day. Okay. So, 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 so that was, that was the connection as far as physically be between me, um, the physical part of my fight. Okay. Gotcha. It's wow. like Jay Z says, you know, you you're in prison, in prison minus the bars, right? So, like, even right. though your 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 sleeping arrangement has changed, it's like you still feel it at that pressure. You still got that thumb on you, you know. So, I I, I hear that. How, how was it coming back? I, I know it's not one of the questions we had, but how was it coming back from? It, it must have been like a time capsule or coming to the future, being twenty years in there and coming out and seeing the world completely different than what you remember. How did that feel to just re-enter this 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 world this this uh, modern day age as far as from when you left it as a young teenager? Basically. How did it feel? Yeah, how did it feel? Um, yeah, yeah. Like I say this to that that I've been home going on six years, right? Yeah, and and um initially when I first came home, the benefit of learning um, was intertwined with my, my feelings of happiness with being home. So like I'm trying new things and so on and so forth. Um, but you know, I've, I've recently um, crossed, crossed over from like um, the, I recently crossed over to ISO type of technology. Uh, okay. Right. Um, and, and to me, the interface is 100% completely different. Mm-hmm. And so as we speak right now, I'm learning some, something completely new in the same way that I was learning things completely new when I came home. And right now I'm, I'm all screwed up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. like, and I, and I say that, um, in a way where it's, 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 I'm still trying to learn how to use t- technology. Period. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, me too. And, and and so it's it's whereas it isn't just a matter of crossing over from somebody that's already been out here with technology. Like I'm behind the eight the eight ball two or three times over with you know with the crossover. I believe mm. you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's 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 intense. But but is it different now? Because you're you're entering a society where okay, so I don't know how the the uh, how it was the, how the it was in prison as far as if there were cliques, if people were together, or it was just basically isolation. As far as uh, now, you're in a society where people are on their phones all the time. They don't. There's no connection. So you know what I mean. Was there more of a connection before you? You know, you, coming back into the society that you you see that there's a difference from when you left as far as people connect with one another on a daily basis, face to face. Now everyone's looking at their phones, never talking to each other. Yeah, so 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 <laughs> I'll give you this to that, right? Yeah. Um there were times where um you know people made trips to you know court. Yeah, okay. and so we had to be trans trans transported. Yeah. Um and, and, and particularly like in the city. Um I noticed that people were walking in their phones and, and doing everything in their phones mm-hmm. and yeah. People look like zombies to me. I'm like, people are crazy out here. Like, like what's the word? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but and it wasn't. It wasn't like that. Obviously, when I got taken away, um, and and so, um, coming coming home to it after visually seeing it, but not really understanding it, um, I can, I can see how that, like how that, I can see that that is the culture. Do you have a bucket list of things that you want to do now since, you know, you've been locked up for over 20 years? Do you have a bucket list of things you, you want to, you know, achieve or, or do? Oh, man, I already jumped out of a plane. Like, what's going oh. on top of that? <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, yeah, no, nah, that was that was that that idea came from my partner, Diamond. Um, but. Um, something that, that I, you know, I want to do 
that's really not all that big is 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 you know go jet skiing. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Um, you gotta come. You gotta I, come to Florida. Gotta come to Florida, man. Yeah, man you gotta come to Florida, at. man. Seriously, we love to hook up with you, um, man. We yeah. can link up. Seriously, I'll, I'll actually be 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 somewhere that down down Florida more sooner than later. Okay. So yeah, you know, I'll I'll, I'll definitely um and hit us up, man. Seriously, we, we know where the definitely. spots is at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, so yeah, that um. I'm not sure, man. I just want to, you know, live, be, be, and be happy, man. Oh, and, yeah. And, and work, like, just work myself back into life. Like, I'm still in the process of trying to learn what I like and what I don't like. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, you know what I mean? Just, just on, it, on very basic things. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. On other things, I'm way ahead. You yeah. know I'm saying? But, but, but the real basic stuff is what's hitting me now and, 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 I'm having to figure it out, but it's all good. Okay, so wounded but not broken. <laughs> That's right. So, in watching your story, um, you know, context is everything. So I try to like go online and find like newspaper clippings or stories and stuff just to kind of get a, a feel, a gauge for like where people were at at that time and like certain comments made. And you know, I found all kinds of like article titles. Uh, you know, speaking to your situation. And one of them that stuck out was like, you know, this was a miscarriage of justice. And I guess I wanted to ask you, if you had to sum up your situation, like what, how, how, what, how would you do that? Like what, what would you say if someone was to say, right, you know, well, 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 talk to me about what happened to you. How, how would you sum that up? What's, what's your thoughts on that? Because, you know, we come up with fancy titles all day, like miscarriage of justice. But, you know, that doesn't even begin to scrape the surface of, of what you went through. So I guess if you had to sum it up, like what, what would you have to say to that? Like how, how would you put that together? Wow. Um, I got to write something down. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was a loaded one. That just, uh, <laughs> he had the pen and paper yeah, ready to uh, his thesis. You got right. Yeah, put a thesis on that. You know what I'm saying though? Like, because I, I told you, I watched it and I was just like, man, like this is crazy. What's going on to this guy? Oh, he's you know? really writing something down. And um, you know, you just look at certain headlines and certain covers. Yeah. And it's like, and I the, yeah, the one, nah, you, <laughs> you just made me the heat. You just <laughs> you just provoked the title to my book. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna share it. I'm I'm I'm, I'm not gonna share that just yet. All right, all right. So you got a you got a book coming out, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um Yeah and I appreciate that. Anytime. I appreciate you for provoking that thought. But um you know how would I? Um yeah, it's definitely a mischaracter of justice, but it's so much more than that. Exactly. Exactly. Um it is 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 it's so much more than that because the system worked as it was in, intended Tendency to work, work yep. in that situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so it isn't just no miscarriage of justice. The miscarriage of justice is when the system, like, mistakenly does something um, that in, that injures the person as a result of it. Like that's like that's a miscarriage of justice. Yeah. Um, but. You know when 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 you knowingly put somebody in prison for a crime that they didn't commit that that's not an encourage of justice. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm not exactly sure how I would how I would def- define yeah, I, it. I know, I know it's a loaded more. question. I know it's a bit of a loaded yeah. question. It just you know it's. Uh, I just for whatever reason that that title just stuck out and it's like this this man this doesn't even begin to scrape the surface of 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 what you've been through you know but I saw that, that I just I was just curious were you uh, were you shocked by the the uh, support or the the attention that the uh, documentary got that you got from the black community as well as the white community um was I shocked. Yes, I would say that I was shocked to, to um, I'm shocked that I would be getting communication from people 
in different countries. Wow. Um, okay. People people have reached out to me from um, England, from uh, Asia, from 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 Africa, um, from 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 Turkey, like just people from from all over the world. Um, us. Uh, us, Australia, mm-hmm. just everywhere. You know what I mean. Um, and so, I w- I'm shocked by that. Yes. So, what are the, what are the type of things that you're getting back from those people? What are they saying to you that you you know? What are some of the things you can come off the top of your head that you're hearing from them? Yeah, it's it's really heartfelt, but it's is is you know, um, thanking me for fighting. Um, yeah. You know, some of the people can r- relate um you know some 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 people have 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 related or connected to um you know not that that wounded but not broken spirit gotcha yeah. mm-hmm. you know what i mean it is it, it's it's kind of like well Sean if you can go through that and come out of that the way that you're choosing to come out of that then then you know I shouldn't be allowing the things that are going on in my life to be affecting me in a way that that I am. So it's mm-hmm. it's people saying that I've been I've inspired them to approach things differently, and and, and for me that's just really humbling. Mm. Okay, All right. Well, I tell you, in, in my family, uh, prison is nothing new to people in my family, but not for someone who is innocent and. Um, uh, you're a beacon, you know, of perseverance, as as you well know. Um, but who is Sean Ellis today? Who are you right now versus Sean Ellis in 93? So Sean Ellis in 93, um, you know, was, 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 was a young black kid. Um, you know, learning about life, learning how to live life. Mm-hmm. Um, and 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 and, but fundamentally, um, that person was who I am today. Um, and 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 the person that I am today is a loving, caring person. Um, I'm an intelligent person. Um, but you, you know, is is in that you know, I'm a I'm a black man. Mm, right. Um, you know, I'm a son. I'm a I'm a, I'm a uh, brother. I'm a husband. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. I'm a uh, dad. I'm saying so. So it is it, is I've just gone through a hellish ordeal. Um, that 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 no man or woman should have to go through. And don't forget um, your survivor. And, and, and inspiration. Having, deal with and heal from that mm. and like my brother just said like, like a survivor mm-hmm. yeah do you think i know there there that people don't know what their their purpose is in life and i was saying do you do you believe this wrong has somehow guided you to what your your purpose is in life and giving you this 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 drive to to change things where whether it be through legislation um and and other things you're doing as far as the charities that you're involved with as well. So what do you, do you believe that this has made, this is exactly who you were meant to be, even though it was going through something that, like you said, no man or woman should ever have to go through. Cause I know in the Bible, you said you were seeking oneness with God, but in the Bible, there's a lot of uh, stories uh, as far as uh, people that were wrong. There was what Joseph, right? Or excuse me, was it Joseph? Yeah. Joseph, Joseph that was put in prison. Uh, He was wrong by his brothers and put in prison. And, and 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 all of a sudden he was he became uh, the second hand to the pharaoh, right? Mm-hmm. The second hand to the pharaoh, but it was all and uh, what was it? Not, not it was all. I was in, what's the word I'm looking ordained? for? Ordained? No, not ordained. It's, it's, it sounds like it was. It's part of the process, right? Well, part of the process, but it's it's uh, not redemption. I would say like uh, kind of like a redemptive story, but you don't have anything to be to to re, you to know redeem. to redeem. But it's like coming from the ashes, like the phoenix rising. So do you believe your wrong made you find your purpose and hone in on who you're supposed to be? I can't say that it did. Like, you know, somebody asked me that question the other day. Yeah. Um, and, 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 but it's like, 
I'm still learning my purpose. Mm, okay. Like when 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 I came home. Yeah. Um. Well, when I was younger, first. Um, when I was in middle school, you know, my dad asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up and I told him that I wanted to be a lawyer. Mm. Um, and, 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 and then, you know, is 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 we have a trial for happen. Um, and then when I came home, I came home desirous of being a lawyer. You know, I thought my purpose was being a lawyer and defending people in court. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> but it's, 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 it's then I got introduced to different stuff. And, you know, that has an attraction to me. Gotcha. You know, community organizing has an attraction to me. It's like, all right, man, like, is that my purpose? So, like, I'm really still in the process of really learning myself. Um, but what I do know is that um, the criminal justice, the criminal law system yeah. is broken. Oh, yeah. Um, and, 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 and I, 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 I just can't just be quiet, um, and, 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 and not, and not highlight the fact that it's broken. Right. Not utilize, um, what happened to me to lift up the voices of those who are struggling through it. So based on what you just said, uh, I, I, I was with some friends of mine back home and um, I was out talking to people about we we're going to be interviewing you. And um, one, one friend happened to be a friend of a friend was a lawyer. And uh, this lawyer had told me what you just said. The system is broken. So I asked, I said, you know, I asked, you know, what would you do to fix it? And then, she, you know, she told me what she would do to fix it. Mm -hmm. And then I said, hey, would you come on the show to talk about it? And she will not they wouldn't she would not come on the show to talk about it because they are afraid of the repercussions of to tell the truth about what it takes to fix to, to fix the system as far as criminal justice and everything and it's crazy to me how they know what to do to fix it but they they, they won't even talk about it they just won't wow. do so, so this is what i'll say to that is that there is a whole community um of exoner of exonerees that that will pick up and step forward mm. on 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 the fight to fix the system. Whoever it was that you were speaking to don't have to step up. Mm. All we got to do is is, is is make that connection because there's a whole exonerate community that's 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 fighting and organizing to 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 really confront and deal with and and, and get redress. Um, from the criminal legal system. Right. So let's go on and, and make that connection. Before we let you go, I want to discuss the two, the foundations that you, you cover, because we're going to make a donation to it. Bro Rance will the foundations, the charities that you are very active in that you want other subscribers and listeners to uh, chip in if they can to donate to the cause and tell us about them. Yeah. So I am definitely um, on the board of the, the New England Innocent Project. Um, you know, I'm definitely, I'm definitely involved, um, in, in that community, in the community of the exonerees. Um, and that's, that's a nonprofit 501c3. Um, and what that organization does is works to, um, undo wrongful convictions. They work to get innocent people, um, men and women from, from, from out of prison, uh, for crimes that they didn't commit. Um, so, you know, that's, that's, that's definitely an organization that's near and dear to my heart. Um, and then we have community servings, um, which is also near and dear to my heart, which, which is actually where I work at, um, which provides um, medic, made from scratch, medically tailored meals to those who are sick and infirmed um, in the, in the New England area. Very good. Very good. Um, I, I mean, we're definitely going to do our part and, uh, Donate in honor of it, as uh, your assistant said, um, Cynthia, which is great. Hey, you're, you've got a great assistant. Love her to death. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so, man, I want to thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. We all we all appreciate it. Is there anything you guys want to say in telling them goodbye? Uh, I got one thing. Would you do us a huge favor when you come uh, when you get your book out, like on our show? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely.
We uh, yes. Can we do two favors? Whenever you make it down to the Sunshine State, you got to hit us up so we could go jet skiing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that was already a given. That was a given. That was already a given. That was already a given. My bad. My bad. I misspoke. Uh, uh, circling back, thank you so much for uh, your time today. Um, yeah, I think I like the word you used beacon. Um, yeah. that's, that's how I view you. That's the light that I hold you in. Like just again, your poise, what you've went through to come out on the other side of it and still just maintain and look to give back and just keep, just keep a positive energy about you because, you know, we had a side conversation. We was like, why isn't Mr. Ellis mad? Yeah, you know? well, you gotta, <laughs> like, yeah. I think we'd be mad. And, and you know, that's that's so not your energy, man. So just thank you again. Yeah. And so, you know, that, you know, my demeanor didn't just come overnight. Okay. Um, it, you, you know, it, it, it didn't just come overnight. You know, I was very upset. I, I don't want you to think that. I was in prison, you know, you know, smiling and, and, and happy go lucky and just jolly <laughs> Joe. You know what I mean? Like that isn't yeah. that isn't what it is. Um, you know, I had some 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 very tough emotional times in there. Mm -hmm. Um and, and some very tough mental times in there. Um, but you know, is 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 I was I was I was able to work through that as I continue to work through it. Um, but you know, as I've said on other platforms, like what I refuse to do is you know go through life angry, um, and and, and having the weight of anger pull me down, um, and, and and keep me confined to the harm and the trauma that's already been done to me. I'm saying like I don't, I don't, I, I'm not living that way. That's beautiful. See? That's where to sum it up. I mean, wounded, um, but, but not broken. You know, yeah, definitely wounded but not broken. Um, and, and 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 you know, visit my website trial trial four f o u r, um, dot com. You, you know, you can support me by um buying some of my merchandise. Um, wounded but not broken. Um, and I definitely appreciate it. No, we definitely. And will. And, and, no, we definitely and, and I'll hit you up. I'll hit you up when I get down there, though. All right. Okay. All we'll, right. <laughs> we gonna hold you to that. Yeah. yeah. Which which. Yeah, which part of Florida are you in? You're in North, North Florida, South Florida? Central, we're in Central Florida. Central, okay. okay. They, we're in the middle, like, they, they, Daytona. Okay. Daytona. Got gotcha. you. We're, okay. we're by the beach, man, so you can't, you can't even, yeah. you know. Can't go you know, wrong. My father-in-law got a boat, too. You can come if and go on the boat. If I see you on Instagram or, or, or somewhere, <laughs> you can go to Florida. Hey. Yo, yeah. right. Hey, all right, listen, man. <laughs> if you see that, hit, hit me up, all right? <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm gonna put it back on you. <laughs> nice, brother. Yeah. Hey, thank you again. We ain't gonna hold you up. I know you got other. You have another interview after this, so thank you so much, my man. Uh yeah, definitely. I, I just got hit with some of our stuff, but no, nah, definitely. I, I appreciate you all. Thank you, all right, brother. God bless. All right, bless up. Thank you, brother.